It sounds a little bit cold and rude to say, I feel stuck here or I'm trapped here, but as a mother, I do feel that way. As a creative person, I do feel that way. I feel stuck and I feel trapped. This picture was taken in 1999 when Rebecca graduated from high school. So my daughters are six, six and a half years apart. They need their mom and, and we feel you know, the last three years have been as hard on my family as it's been on my relationship with Roger. We've been here uh, at this point about 2.5 years longer than we ever intended. We, we've set a projected uh, target date of uh, November 15th to just basically uh, get out of Las Vegas and, and back to Southern California where we have a social support network where there are more opportunities for work. And, and November 15th is also ideal because it's just before the holidays. Yeah, there, there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, it just wasn't a realistic date. I'm not going to LA without having a cushion first. I'll, I'll be in the same type of situation here. And down in LA, they don't have budget suites. I wasn't completely convinced that we would make November 15th. My daughters are spending Thanksgiving with my mother. And knowing that they'll all be together really tears my heart. Even if all Roger and I have is turkey pot pie, there is no work here for either of us. It's just not going to happen. It isn't that we haven't looked. We were on the verge of essentially becoming homeless. Since September 1st, we've been living at the uh, Budget Suites of America here on North Rancho. Uh, we pay 208 a week. Sometimes, some weeks, that's been the only way we've been able to have grocery money is by not having to put out a whole month of rent. For incidental items, uh, things that people would condemn me for purchasing, cigarettes, uh, uh, beer, I go either to the Terrible Herbs on the corner or the Sinclair gas station, and uh, those, are my those are my daily walks, or daily walk. And I also get uh, two Marlboro 100 Red and one Camel Blue. This, this room is very dark. And uh, a dark environment is not conducive to positive thinking. So uh, a couple days a week, I sometimes go across the street to the Fiesta Casino where they have uh, dollar margaritas. And I'll take a book or my journal. They're, they're strong for just a dollar. They're pre-mixed margaritas. But uh, a lot of times, you know, after I finish one, which takes about an hour, I'm tempted to have another. I don't want the drink. I just want the time away from the room. My project right now, instead of wallowing in my self-pity of being stuck here, quote unquote, is I have been taking better care of myself. When this all first hit the fan in August and September, I was extremely depressed. I was very unhappy when I looked at your first two videos, at how depressed I seemed and, and how lost I looked. There's a lot more to me than being Roger's care. So I've been, I took responsibility for that, got my hair cut. I've been taking a lot better care of myself. Now, I bought some nail polish. I don't want to get back to California and be a basket case. I've been forcing myself to um, keep up with some of my hobbies and interests. As I say, I've been reading a lot. Since we moved here in the last three months, I've probably been through about 40 books. I have been um, donating some time at Three Square Food Bank, which has been really good for me. It really made me feel good to do that after we got the donations that we got because of Roger's articles. We really could not have stayed in this room without the donations, and it felt good to go to the volunteer work. It's just sort of a way to 
not just for me to get out of the house, but just sort of, sort of a payback to Las Vegas. It felt good. Now I do feel, <laughs> after so many hours, I do feel I have given back to the Las Vegas Valley. You know, I see just walking around the complex, there are people who have been settled in, most of them retirees, and have been living here obviously for years. And they have their apartments tricked out with their own furniture. They have little gardens out in front of their front door. Uh, I don't want to see that happen. So I don't really want to get too comfortable here. I don't want this to become my new reality. A colleague down in L.A. Uh, two weeks ago has put some money aside uh, in order to foot the bill for the cost of movers. It's a wonderful promise to make us. It's meant a lot to us. Now all we need to know is where is the truck going to go to? <laughs> we don't know. There, there really hasn't been any forward movement other than my colleague making that offer. There's no targeted date. Even if I did find work here, I don't know how we'd save up enough for an apartment in California. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I know that something will happen because we can't stay here. I really need to see my kids. I wish we could get back there before Christmas. Um, so I don't know how much longer we can continue being optimistic.